to invite now as the next speaker, His Excellency Professor Kabudi, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Tanzania, also a co-chair of the Group of Friends for Financial Inclusion at the UN. Your Excellency. Your Majesties, it's functioning now. Okay. Your Majesties, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the United Republic of Tanzania is a co chair of the Group of Friends on Financial Inclusion and co host of this event today. It's an honor for me to speak on behalf of the government and the people of Tanzania on the important topic of financial inclusion. The United Republic of Tanzania is quite impressed with this meeting and the testimonials before me, which have been alluded by also a friend from Indonesia and from the World Bank. Let me add some few experience of Tanzania, which I can add to this very important venture. One, the United Republic of Tanzania really congratulates and thanks enormously Her Majesty Queen Maxima. In her capacity as the Secretary General's Special Advocate, he visited the United Republic of Tanzania in December 2013 and launched the National Financial Inclusion Strategy. During her meetings with government officials and also with the private sector, she emphasized the importance of focusing on the need of farmers, small hold of farmers. Since then, the United Republic of Tanzania has implemented the National Financial Inclusion Strategy, and uh, we have developed the second Financial Inclusion Strategy. And hopefully, Your Majesty, when it pleases you, and His Majesty the King, <laughs> we hope to see you in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania soon to see the second Financial Inclusion Strategy being put uh, in, in uh, being rolled out. We are in the process of implementation of our new strategy with a focus on farmers, as you counseled us. Women, girls, micro, small, and medium enterprises, as you advocated your, uh, your majesty. Our government's main priorities include reducing poverty, creating jobs, and achieving gender equality. This year, we have assumed the chairmanship of the South African Development Community. And the theme that Tanzania has proposed to SADC is creating an inclusive, sustainable industrial development, increased intra-trade, but more job creation for our young men and our young women. And we believe, Your Majesty, this issue of financial inclusion is relevant today, is relevant to, to, tomorrow, and is relevant the day after tomorrow. Because we believe financial inclusion is key to achieve many of these. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we admire, and so admire, the work of the UN Special Advocate on Financial Inclusion and her contribution to the development of this important theme in the United Republic of Tanzania. We are lucky to have you as one of those people who has the United Republic of Tanzania in your heart and your husband's heart. I would like to thank those who are making a valuable contribution today, and especially to you, Queen Maxima, for your dedication, devotion, in ensuring financial inclusion is part of our agenda. Thank you very Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister Kabudi.